hello guys welcome back to my channel if you are old yet thanks and if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified anytime i upload a new video in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to design a short flyer using adobe photoshop with any further ado let's get started all right so here let's go to our photoshop and set up the background we are going to use for this tutorial then over here i'm going to use a5 paper size then you can go to print over here then you will see a5 paper size over here change it to inches and leave your resolution at 300 then i'm going to use rogb color mode because this is for social media post okay then you click on great here is our working background now the first thing i'm going to do i'm going to copy the color code and over here these are the fonts i'm going to use in this tutorial then ctrl plus c to copy and i'm going to select solid color then ctrl plus v to paste now i'm going to zoom in then go to your resource file then import your logo I'm going to import the logo first this is where i'm going to start from then reduce the size and drag it over here then go back to your test document and over here i'm going to copy this ctrl plus c to copy select your test tool ctrl plus v to paste then reduce the font size And I will position it around here. Increase the size a little more. Then Ctrl plus A to select or then apply vertical alignment. Ctrl plus D to deselect. And I will bring this one close. Then Ctrl plus J to duplicate. Bring it down. Go to your test document and copy this one. Ctrl plus C to copy. Select your test tool. Then highlight Ctrl plus A and Ctrl plus V to paste. Then over here now, I'm going to bring this one to the center. Then open the character spacing like this. It's okay. Then Ctrl plus A to select all and Ctrl I mean then you click on this one then to apply vertical alignment then ctrl plus d to deselect okay after this one then the next thing i'm going to do i will go back to my test document and i will copy this one ctrl plus c to copy then Select your test tool, Ctrl plus V to paste, and close the character spacing by 0%. Then position this one around here. Go back to your test, and over here, I'm going to copy this one, Ctrl plus C. Then you can duplicate this one, Ctrl plus J to duplicate. I will bring this one over here. Then select your test tool and Ctrl plus V to paste. Then I'm going to change the font here to Alex Broch. Okay, then go to your font over here and uh, I'm going to type the, the font Alex okay so over here is the alex brush now i'm going to change the font color to this yellow or orange color now scale it out to make it more bigger something like this then i'm going to apply a drop shadow it's okay this setting is okay then i'm going to make use of it 
then and the next thing i'm going to do then i'm going to hold my alt key then drag the test infect that is the drop shadow and drop it on the night test then after this one the next thing i'm going to do then go back to your test doc document and i'm going to copy this one ctrl plus c to copy then i'm going to duplicate this one ctrl plus j to duplicate bring it over here select your test to ctrl plus a to alight it then ctrl plus v to paste and the font i'm going to use i'm going to copy this font over here then go to your test i mean your fonts and i'm going to paste it then this is the font apply it then i will drag this one and position it like this so then on this test now i'm going to select these two tests over here and increase the size i'm going to increase the size just like this then i'm going to duplicate this one ctrl plus j to duplicate then position it if then highlight it and over here i'm going to copy this one ctrl plus c to copy then ctrl plus v to paste then go to your font and change the font to century gothic then make it bold and change the font color to white then reduce the font size and drag it over here then you will have something like this then i'm going to drag this test up so that it will be above the test okay then after this one then go back to your test document and i'm going to copy this one ctrl plus c to copy then select this test over here night then ctrl plus j to duplicate it drag it up and then you bring it down position it over here select your test to ctrl plus a to alight then ctrl plus v to paste then i'm going to close the character spacing then by 120 that is minus 120 it's okay then i will drag it up over here then this place and i'm going to drag it up to be above the text like this all right now you can use your arrow key then to move your test then and then i'm going to drag the test to expand it that is to increase the size this way then i'm going to select the test then ctrl plus g to group now ctrl plus a to select all and i'm going to apply vertical alignment then ctrl plus d to deselect now you can increase the size of the test something like this then i will drag it and i will position it somewhere around here for now okay so having done this so the next thing i'm going to do now then i'm going back to my resource file then i'm going to set up the background now so the first background and i'm going to use after this color code then i'm going to bring this background over here then drag it up bring this one down to this place then scale it out this way then go to your blending mode and i'm going to change it to lightning change it to lightning 
over here and the opacity you leave it at 100% then apply your layer mask to blend the bottom over here something like this okay so having done this one now so the next thing i'm going to do i'm going back to my resource file then i'm going to bring this image called background here then scale it out this way now the next thing i'm going to do then i'm going to my filter then select gaussian blur and i'm going to blur this one by 47 point zero then you click ok and go to your blending mode then you change it to overlay something like this then now we have to go back again to our resource file then if you want you can also blend if you want to apply uh, blend then you can apply your layer mask but as you can see there is nothing to blend here because it's not showing so there is no need to do that so now bring it down to be on top of this one now go back to your resource file import this background over here then drag it up then scale it a little to fix to fit it in then now on this one so i'm going to blow it go back to your filter then blow or gaussian blow and i'm going to make use of 12.5 then enter okay now after this one apply your layer mask then select your gradient tool over here and uh, make sure that this place over here is uh, black and uh, white then you apply your blending over here something like this all right then we move forward back to our resource document again and uh, over here we are going to import this worship or praise image over here then you drag it down above this one then i'm going to take it up somewhere around here around here then i'm going to reduce the size somehow like this then click ok then on this one I'm going to reduce the opacity to 46 then and your layer mask then I select your gradient to and um, blend over here here and the top here so you will have something like this then after this one then go back to your resource document and I'm going to also import this one then reduce the size somehow like this then drag it down above this one and then this one then I'm going to change the blending mode to add lights and apply your layer mask select your gradient to then you blend it also the top here blend it blend it this way then you will have something like this okay so having done this one now then we will go back also to our resource so over here so the next thing we are going to do then we are going to bring this image here also drag it above here then go to your filter then select blur gaussian blur and over here i'm going to blur it by 13.9 then you click ok and then change the blending mode to add lights so having changed it to add lights 
So the next thing, then apply your layer mask, then select your gradient tool and uh, you blend over here and the top. So something like this. For now, then I'm going to leave it this way. So any adjustment, then I'm going to do that later. Then I'm going to select all this one then and control plus g to group it so also before then i close it i'm going to select my rent angle tool and i'm going to draw a rent angle over here then change the color to black then apply the layer marks select your gradient tool and you blend it so something like this okay then you can use your arrow key then to bring this one down then to set it this way it's okay all right so having done this one so we will now move forward to continue then the next thing now i'm going back to my resource file and i'm going to bring this image then right click and then flip it horizontal then click ok over here then i'm going to select my quick selection tool and over here i'm going to click on this select subjects then apply your layer mask to remove the background and I'm going to reduce it then position it over here it's okay something like this is okay then over here my test I'm going to rename it as my test then I can use the arrow key then to bring it down then you can also scale it the way you want it to be so i'm gonna leave it like this it's okay so having done this one so the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to select a cycle that is the ellipse tool and i'm going to draw a cycle over here Then this one I'm going to duplicate it, Ctrl plus J or you drag it over here to duplicate it. Now select it, hold your Alt key and I'm going to reduce the size over there. Now go back to your resource file and I'm going to select this image over here. Then import it to my Photoshop and I will reduce the size. Then position it like this. And right click create a clipping mask then you can now adjust the image now I'm going to select this image then group it so this is one I'll position it over here reduce the size then ctrl plus J to duplicate it and I'll bring the second one over here. Then select the image, delete it, go back to your resource file, and I'm going to import this one. Reduce the size, then position it over here. Right click again and create a clipping mask. Then I uh, will use my arrow key then to adjust the image. Then you will have something like this. So this is two. Then I'm going to select these two image and increase the size. Now go back to your test document. Over here, I'm going to copy the name now. But before copying the name, I'm going to draw a rent angle then i will first copy this color code ctrl plus c to copy then select a rectangle 
I will draw a rectangle over here. Ctrl plus V to paste. Then I will drag it over here and reduce the opacity to 55. 55 is too much. Then take it to to 80 or um, let me use 90 is okay 90 percent then go back to your test document and i'm going to copy the name over here ctrl plus c to copy then select your test to ctrl plus v to paste and i'm going to use the font essentially gothic you make it bold and reduce the font size okay then now i'm going to duplicate this one ctrl plus j to duplicate then you bring it down using your arrow key or your mouse and i'm going to copy this one so disclaimer this tutorial is for lesson purpose only so there is no such service holding anywhere so take note and be aware of that so this is for tutorial purpose there is no program holding anywhere with the name in this tutorial then you reduce this one. Alright, so having done this one this way, then I will still reduce the opacity 77. It's okay. Then I will duplicate this one. Ctrl plus J to duplicate. Now we position it over here then increase the size then i'm going to leave it for now then i will group this one and over here i'm going to put minister then on this one now i'm going to copy and bring in their name Select your test tool, then Ctrl plus V to paste. I'm going to use regular on this, then reduce the size. Position it over here. Use your arrow key then to drag it up. Ctrl plus J to duplicate it. And bring this one over here then select your test tool alight it then come over here to copy this one then ctrl plus v to paste then use your arrow key then to drag the name and position it well then i'm going to select the two image over there this one and this one then i'm going to apply horizontal alignment then to set it properly so this is what you will have then these two image and the name i'm going to drag it down this way it's okay I'm going, to, I'm going to reduce the name, the size of it, and reposition it. Alright. So now the next thing I'm going to do, having concluded on this one, then I'm going to this one, and uh, I'm going to copy the location. 
then duplicate this text here and drag it up now i'm going to move it from here down to this position then select your test tool highlight it ctrl plus v to paste now i'm going to reduce the size and make the test board drag it over here then go back to your resource file and i'm going to bring this location icon reduce the size bring it over here then hold your ctrl plus shift key or press ctrl plus u for hue and saturation then you drag it over here to apply a white background color so this is the outcome of it then having done this one now so the next thing i'm going to do now then i'm going back to my resource file Ctrl plus G to group location then go back to your resource file and I'm going to import this light effect here and I will position it around here then select screen so having done this one then I'm going back to my resource file and I'm going to also import this glow effect then i'll drag it and position it around here then go to your blending mode and change it to screen something like this so now we are going back to our date and time then I'm going to select a rent angle tool. Then I will draw a rent angle over here. Something like this. Then, and I'm going to copy this color code. You can see here for time and date. Then double click here. Ctrl plus V to paste. Now, Then go to your resource file and I'm going to copy this one, Ctrl plus C to copy. Then select your test tool, Ctrl plus V to paste and reduce the size. Then you drag it over here. Go back again, then I'm going to copy this one, Ctrl plus C to copy then i will duplicate this one ctrl plus j to duplicate then you'll drag it down select your test tool highlight it then ctrl plus v to paste and increase the size also copy again ctrl plus c then I'm going to duplicate this one, Ctrl plus J to duplicate, then you drag it down. Select your test tool, highlight it, then Ctrl plus V to paste. And reduce the size. Then I'm going to draw a rent angle over here. Then change the color to this yellow over here. And I'm going to apply vertical to centralize it. Then duplicate this one. Drag it up bring it down I 
I'm going to copy this one. Ctrl plus C to copy. Then select your test tool. Highlight this one. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. And apply. Centralize the test. Then you can increase the font size of this one. Then position it over here and reduce the size. Then come over here. Then to reduce the space. Then you can now increase the size. So over here, I'm going to change it to regular. So here is it. Then Control Plus, hold your Shift key while you select it, then you group it. So over here is our date and time. So now that is the end of the tutorial. Thank you so much for following. If you like this video, then please kindly subscribe, turn on the notification bell to get notified anytime I upload a new video. And another thing again, so if you want to order for any of my graphic design, then check the link in the description. Then there is a Fiverr account over there. Then you go through the link and order any of your design you want. And if you want to optimize your YouTube video or any other social media channel, then there is a two-body two link in the description. Then you can follow the link, create an account, and uh, create your own two-body account and uh, optimize your channel. Thank you so much for following. I really appreciate. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share.